This is a brand new Giant Revolt X and it has suspension at the front and at the back. So does the new Revolt X have the X Factor? We'll find out, go through all the details, talk about the price, specification, and even better, go for a first ride here in my local woods and see how it performs. So I'm David, you're watching Just Ride Bikes. Let's dive in. This brand new bike is an addition to the current lineup of Revolt gravel and adventure bikes, which have been around for about 10 years. I've reviewed several over the last few years here at Just Ride Bikes, and very good bikes they are indeed, and very popular too. The X is an addition to that range with extra capacity and capability for the rider who likes to flirt that thin line between gravel and mountain bike, which is me to a T. I love pushing your bikes to there and my limits on trails where a mountain bike might be the better choice, but you still have a bunch of fun on a bike like this. So we have a totally redesigned frame available in carbon or aluminium, all optimized around that suspension fork. The main change is the head tube, much shorter than a normal Revolt. The head tube angle and the seat tube angle are 71 at the front and 73 at the back. And the bottom bracket has actually been lowered over a normal Revolt and the chain stays are actually a bit shorter. And there are a few features borrowed from the normal Revolt, namely, the flip chips in the rear drop out to adjust the wheelbase for shorter or longer, the change of handling and also the tire clearance. As well as that suspension fork up front, we also have a dropper seat post, but one with a very clever trick up its sleeve. So it offers between 75 and 100 mil of drop from a handlebar mounted lever, but the clever trick, you have about 25 millimeters of suspension action. Most dropper seat posts really compromise comfort because there's no suspension and there's no flex like a carbon seat post. So dual purpose dropper suspension seat post. You can swap out this seat post for a regular round 30.9 seat post or the company's own defuse D-shaped seat post if you want a maximum comfort. And they have a change as well as the geometry are the shorter stems and the wider handlebars fitted to the Revolt X compared to the regular Revolt. The new bike will be offered in four builds and I put all the prices down below in the description. But the range starts here in the UK at £3,000. The model I have here is a Pro 1 with a SRAM rival 1x setup and an Eagle GX rear mech and a massive dinner plate 1052 cassette and it retails here in the UK for £5,500 or $6,200 if you're watching in the US. This is a size ML. I'm 181 centimeters tall and that's my size in Giant's lineup. And on the scales, without these pedals fitted, it weighs 10 kilos, which is quite heavy on paper. But as I found when I rode it just now, it doesn't ride heavy at all. And in fact, rides like a bike that feels it should be half the weight, which is probably in part thanks to their own super lightweight and super wide carbon fiber wheels with some really nice tires, a cross cut, not seen these before, 45 mil wide, nice chunky tread pattern. So thankfully we don't have a slick tire like you get on the normal Revolt. And personally speaking, and let me know if you agree or disagree, I think it's a fabulous looking bike. I love the minimal graphics on this and the two-tone paint job. And I like the combination of colors as well. I think it looks really cool. They match the, the fork to the front half of the frame and add a bit of bling out back. Giant still aren't as sexy or perceived to be as desirable as a Specialized or a Trek or a Cannondale, but I think with this bike, that might change. Right, let's get out in the woods and see what the bike is all about. As most of you will know, I'm a big fan of the Revolt platform. Great performance, saves money, just works. I'm also a big fan of the RockShot Rudy suspension fork. Reviewed it last year or year before. So two things combined, the Revolt and the Rudy suspension fork should be a match made in heaven. And so far, that does seem to be the case. So very quick, the first ride today in my local woods out of my trail dog, Ali. Don't have enough time for anything more adventurous or long distance. 
So stay tuned to the channel for more riding bikes with dogs. It's the Ace, with the exception they're too damn fit and fast and make you feel really slow and unfit. I'm out of breath already. And so far, it doesn't feel like the, the sprightliness and the performance and the speed of the normal Revolt has been compromised with the direction the X has taken it in. The SRAM gearing with that massive 1052 dinner plate on the back means steep climbs are easy. You don't need a motor with the gearing setup, that's for sure. And because if you're riding the sort of trails where suspension fork is kind of needed, you're probably going to need that gearing to get you back up the other side. The two things go hand in hand. Massive gearing, super low gears, and then suspension and drop a seat post. Got that great geometry, the suspension fork and the suspension seat post, smoothing out the bumps from the tree roots, which are hidden by the leaves and riding right now, to make a gravel bike that's smoother than a rigid setup, smoother than a normal revolt. So the comfort, it ticks that box. But comfort, it's only one half of the story. I like pushing these bikes to their limits, and my limits. And this bike so far, it's giving me a bigger kind of bandwidth to do precisely that. There she goes. I know a lot of people will be saying, as they always say, just buy a mountain bike. But I love riding a gravel bike on a wide variety of trails, from road to smooth gravel, and then deep in the woods like I am now. And a bike that does all that so well. And maybe it's not as good in each discipline as a road, a gravel race bike, and then a mountain bike, it does it each to a very high level indeed, and means you can have one bike that's gonna shine in every situation. And when you are exploring trails like I am today, you'll have a bike that lets you have more fun and go faster. And who doesn't love going faster? Suspension has been well proven on mountain bikes over the last two or three decades. And guess what? It works here. But I know it won't be for everybody, and that's why the normal revolt, for lots of people, is probably a smarter choice. Okay, just some quick thoughts based on, admittedly, a very short ride on this new bike. I will be riding a lot more over coming weeks and months, so stay tuned for more content and more riding impressions on this brand new bike. Firstly, I think it's a big improvement for the riding I do on a gravel bike like this. The addition of that suspension fork, the suspension seat post and dropper seat post, big chunky tires, that wide range SRAM gearing and the modified tweak geometry means the bike that doesn't hold you back in most situations. But I have noticed the seat post clunking I guess as it's topping out and then hitting the stops. And that's happened a few times on this short first ride. So that's something I'll keep a close eye on over the next few weeks and months, and whether it's a problem or whether it's just teething issues with a brand new component. But that aside, the rest of the kit is top draw, as you'd expect on a top end model like this. Super lightweight carbon fiber wheels. They spin up really quickly. Nice chunky tire, so loads of grip in what are quite dry conditions today. Nice wide flared handlebar, nice short stem, nice grippy tactile bar tape as well. I love the wide range SRAM gearing with a battery protector on there as well, so a real neat feature that is. And I think it looks good as well. I like a two-tone paint job. I'm a sucker for a two-tone paint job, and I like the color of the bike. Very understated graphics for sure. But let me know what you think down below. But like I said, more ride impressions on a bike or more challenging trails coming very soon. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see that. 
And if you want to see a review of the regular Revolt, just to refresh your mind on that bike, then do check out the video right up here.